guys, today's video won't be a review, but it will be answering a question that I get asked quite often, and it is what I take to the range, or what's in my range bag. Now what's in my range bag might not necessarily be what you take. Uh, there might be some stuff in here that I show and you might think that's a good idea to take, and there may be stuff that I don't have that you take. If that's the case, comment below, and you know that might be something I might add to this range bag. But basically what I take is to prepare for the worst that may happen on the range so I can continue shooting and not go home early. Okay, so this bag is basically a eBay cheap $30 bag. Now I've had it for about a year and I don't overload my bag because once you start making the bags a little bit too heavy then you start getting a lot more wear and tear a lot sooner. So I try to limit the weight of what I take. But this bag, as I said, it's cheap, um, you know, it does the, does what its purpose is, carries what I need to carry. It's um, not necessarily too wide, like some of the, the other range bags. Um, I can, you know, throw that over my shoulder, carry with the handle there. We've got the front here. And uh, this is the Amateur Pistol Association membership card. Take that so I can fire at other ranges, uh, handguns and whatnot. I have a pen and a texter. These are good for marking out on the uh, the targets, you know, or signing membership forms. Uh, I have a simple knife. Never know when a knife comes in handy. A Ball light. This one basically works off, you know, you put that through the muzzle and works off the sunlight and it has a nice, nice light straight through the, uh, the rifling. Or, you know, if you're indoors, you can throw a torch down there and the light bounces, the beam bounces off there. These are cheap as and really good to check, make sure your rifling is nice and uh, clean. And lastly, a five cent coin. Five cent coin because every scope adjustments made 5 cent coin works perfect this pocket here I have some hand sanitizer I use this mainly when I go uh, pistol shooting because you get all sorts of powder and whatnot on your hands and that stuff's cancerous so guys you want to make sure that you clean your hands once you leave the range or even while you're at the, at the range before you leave the range the next pocket I have some pre pre cut pouches just in some coin coin pouches next one along shooting glasses these ones are yellow the front pouch bit is dedicated to cleaning gear so we have a bore snake in the 223 caliber for my Remington pump. Have a universal bore guide that goes down your rifle pretty much as you can see it, it's like the bolt for your rifle. You stick that down your rifle where the bolt is and you run the patch and the clean rod through here and it goes straight into the rifling and avoids any gunk being pushed down into the, uh, the action. A punch. Punches are good for uh, pistols because a lot of pistols have a punch system um, and also rifles do but it doesn't take up any space. This is my POC clean kit or POC kit by Clean Ball. Now this basically has everything you need for cleaning your your pistols. You got your jags, your ball brush, and your cleaning, and it just basically connects like so. Clip in like that. And that works perfectly for my revolver, the 686 in the 6 inch barrel, and uh, that length works fine. And what I normally do is I, I tend to clean my guns at home when I get back, but if I have an issue where it needs to be cleaned on the range, 
it's always good to have that there. In fact, a lot of this stuff I don't really use on the range, but it's good to have because I find that a lot of uh, mates you have, or even just guys at the range you don't even know, they tend to um, ask if you have something. And, you know, if I've got it, um, I'm more than happy to give it to someone to use so they can continue shooting. A brass rod. This is in a 8mm thickness, or I think 7.5mm. Anyway, it comes in a 36 inch rod. I've cut this down to 12 inch and I've got another couple of 12 inches. Basically, if you shoot reloads, um, you may have um, had an issue where the bullet gets stuck in the barrel and um, pretty much means your day is over unless you've got an extra gun or an extra barrel. I throw this rod in here, making sure it's a brass rod, guys, because brass, if you use on the uh, stainless steel or even the steel barrels, because brass is a lot of material, a lot of metal, it won't damage the, um, the rifling. But yeah, so I just uh, put your barrel in there and knock the projectile out, clean the rifle, uh, clean the clean the um, the the barrel with um, your cleaning gear, and keep shooting. This is a, just a painting brush. I've cut down the bristles, so it's nice to get into the slide for cleaning. A couple of toothbrushes, some swabs or ear cleaners, nice long ones to get into areas that normally you can't get to. <clears throat> Next across we have cleaning solution. Now I put these in this sort of easy to carry cases. These bottles here you can pretty much pick up from um, two dollar shops in the uh, makeup aisle, you know, for travel. And the cleaning solution I use is Barnes CR10. I'm actually looking at different cleaning um, cleaning products and solvents, you know, but at the moment I'm using the Barnes. Uh, some oil. The oil I use is Singer oil. There's uh, a lot of debate about whether Singer oil is any good. I remember, and some some of the older guys definitely would remember. Sing Oil actually had a rifle symbol on down the bottom here and suggested that use can be used for uh, firearms and, and sporting but obviously with our um, gun scared um, society they've taken that off but yeah, Sing Oil's fine, I've had no problems and this is Remington Gun Grease and the, the labels come off but that Remington Gun Grease, I, I use that all the time sparingly but yeah it's fantastic and then we have a chucks for cleaning microfiber cloth taking off any uh, acids in the hand on the slides or whatnot it's just really good for cleaning even for the stainless steel and a, a bore sight and this is um, really good for siding in pistols where uh, this, you know, you can get the bore sights for for the um, the rifles, which sit above the the muzzle, but for um, pistols, this is actually pretty good for 10, 10 yards. If you, you know, someone says, "Oh, my my uh, gun's out of sight," you know, I can't shoot with it. Blah blah blah. You can grab this, and they can fix it, and then they can realise that actually the gun's not out of sight. They're just a really bad shot. Right, so for the main compartment, we've got another collection of goodies. Pegs. Most uh, ranges will provide pegs, but you'll find that some of the pegs are shot up into three or four different pieces when they should be in one. These cost next to nothing from um, any supermarket. Good to have these in there anyway, so if you, there are other pegs are uh, blown apart, you can use these and continue shooting. Some black labels, good for marking out where you've shot, so you can judge where your next rounds are going to go and work on the, um, the shooting. Some shooting gloves, you know, these are nice for handguns or whatnot. 
just a mag holder. This is something that actually I got only the other day, I haven't used, but um, it's to replace what I used to carry, which was WD-40, and that's inox. This I picked up from Super Cheap, a car shop. Um, basically, as far as I can see, it does the same as what WD-40 does. It displays, protects, and also penetrates, but what it does extra, it also lubricates, where WD-40 will get rid of all oil film that you've got on your, um, your metals when you use it. This will actually leave a slight uh, film of oil, which is great for you know, your rifles or whatnot, or your, or your pistol barrels. Um, I would use this, mainly if I have an issue with the, um, the projectile being stuck in the barrel. I'll spray a little bit of this down the, uh, the rifling, leave it sit for about two minutes, and then use the brass rod to punch the projectile out. It should slide out nice and easy. Here in protection, of course, this is a must for pistols and rifles, because you know we all want to hear after we shoot. Uh, these are Howard Light uh, Impact Sports electronic muffs. What I'll do is a actual review dedicated later on on these, because these are excellent. I used to use Peltors, real large basic Peltors, which are excellent for pistols, but no good when I used to shoot rifles. This with the low profile and the compact design is excellent for carrying at the range or in the range bag. A um, collection of Allen keys because it seems everything these days has Allen keys. And some screwdrivers. Here I have some Tipton brass brushes and Tipton jags. Now these brass brushes are fantastic. They're nice and long. Apparently they have 33% more bristles. And I use these for my rifles obviously because of the length and pistols. Works really nicely for pistols. This set here I've got from 0.17 all the way up to 50 cal. And the jags, most jags are brass, ja uh, uh, sorry, brass jags which I mean, work fine, but when you put some of the solutions, the clean solutions, on your uh, patch and then put it on the brass, the brass will start wearing off sort of that green tinge, which is what you want to look out for if you're looking for, you know, any copper or fouling or whatnot. But you don't want your jag to sort of um, interfere with that, with that checking out. So these are a, a metal, or like a stainless steel or a steel which um, don't give off any sort of uh, markings when you put it through. They work really nice. Also, some picks. Seem to use these a lot for when you're uh, taking firing pins out of your slides or any, for any reason really, but these are really good to get in nice uh, tricky spots. Uh, lastly, more screwdriver set. This one here has Phillips and flat and hex screws and really small fine ones which are good for scope, mounts, scopes or you know bits and pieces in the rifle. At the back here I just have a calendar of my pistol club so I can see what we're shooting each week, whether I turn up or not or what I miss out on. But that's pretty much what I take to the to the range with my range bag every time I go out, regardless. Um, it doesn't weigh too much, and as you can see, I can sort of cater for any any issue that I have, any minor issue, um, and continue shooting for the day. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, something slightly different to the review videos, um, but you know, there might be some stuff in here that you haven't thought of, there might be stuff that I haven't thought of. Uh, this is the whole purpose of doing this video, so maybe we can exchange ideas and, you know, add to a better shooting experience. But anyway guys, if you're new to the channel and you like the video, please subscribe and support, and I'll be posting more videos in the coming weeks.